Hey guys, this is Gloria. Oh my god, I couldn't leave you stranded, guys. I needed to do something. So, what I ended up doing, my girlfriend got married on the 12th, and I didn't make her a card. So, um, she's back in town, and she should be home tonight. And I figured I'll make her a wedding card. Since she's married now, yay! Oh my god, she's married, a young married woman now. Her name is Priscilla. And, um, she got married on the 12th of December. Then she got married up in Connecticut. And then she went to Jamaica for her honeymoon. So I'm, like, so extremely happy for her that, you know, everything went well. And she's back in town because I surely did miss her. So... This is going to be my card. I'm going to use the wedding cartridge, which is a solution cartridge, and it is uh, retired, and the art philosophy cartridge. And then the paper pads that I used is uh, this, uh, my mind's eye, me and my big ideas, and it's a specialty paper, and um, it's actually Christmas paper, but there was a paper in here that did not seem like Christmas, so I ended up using it. So, this paper is really beautiful. Look at that silver and gold. Okay, the paper that I end up using is this musical sheet. And it don't have no Christmas verses or anything. So, it was just musical notes. And I figured that would be really, really beautiful for her card. And um, let me show you the rest of this paper in here. I mean, it's really pretty. And, you know, I didn't use it for my Christmas series, which... When you got so much paper, you don't realize what you got until you actually look through each and every pad to see what they have. And you see, I can use this on a paper, on a card, because it's not Christmassy. And um, I could use this paper, this uh, Chevron paper, because it don't seem Christmassy. Then that's Christmas, that's pretty. And then, I mean, so on and so on, guys. I could use this paper right here on a card because it does not seem Christmassy. And even this one because it don't look Christmas pa like Christmas paper. So, let's... And then, I end up using the metallic paper pack out of um, Best Occasions. And it's... Um, I end up using the silver. You know, because you got to put a little silver in all the dresses. Then I also used the glitter stack, card stock, uh, stack um, metallic, and I ended up using the black, and then I also used white glitter paper. Okay, so my card is going to be an A2 size card, and here it goes, and it's going to... It's going to be portraits, no, landscape. So it's going to open up this way. So I already did the inside. And then the inside, I end up using the metallic silver paper, then the black glitter paper, and the white glitter paper. And then I stamp love. It is just a word until someone along comes and gives it a meaning. And I thought it was actually going to be really, really pretty, that saying. So... You know, because when you do get married, you fall in love and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes love don't really mean anything until someone comes and gives it a meaning, just like the words say. Okay? And what I ended up doing up here was using my scallop border punch. And it's from e EK Success. And I end up scalloping the front of the silver. Then the black on the bottom, then the white, and what I did was with the silver, the, the left trimming of the silver, I ended up putting it down here. I ended up putting it down here. So, that's the inside, and the stamp set that I end up using is My Creative Time with Emma, and it's the Inspiring Words. And what I did, I used the love stamp, and you can you can mix and match, which mix and match, not mix. Sorry, and um, you can actually do a lot of things. 
and then I got the inspiring word accents. So I figured since love, and then I used this stamp right here, which is it's a word until someone comes along and gives it a meaning. And there's a whole lot of other ones, and they match each other, you know. So they coordinate with each other, so you can mix, mix and match them, which is really amazing. Okay, so let's start laboring the front of the card. So what I ended up doing was getting, I cut this silver metallic paper out, uh, one eighth of an inch smaller than four and a quarter. So I'm going to adhere that down right here in front of the card. And, um, guys, I missed you guys. I'm going to miss you guys for a whole week, but I figure I'll take me a little break while it's the holiday, you know. But I will come back, and I will come back full force. And I'm thinking of doing a couple of Valentine's Day cards. Just to give it a, because Valentine's Day is in February. And, you know, you guys to have some inspiration before then. Okay, so there goes our first layer, the metallic. Then the second layer is going to be that music sheet of paper, and it's just one eighth of an inch smaller than uh, two, uh, four and th uh, two quarters. Four and two quarters, four and a quarter. <laughs> I'm going ahead of myself, so I'm going to layer this right there, just like that. It's going to look just like that. Okay. There's just so much happening, and um, I thank God for this season. I mean, this is a beautiful season, you know, especially when you have family members. Tomorrow night, uh, today's Sunday, so tomorrow night I'm fixing to go over to my aunt's house. She's having a gathering, and everybody's going to end up bringing a dish. So what I end up doing today was making a cheesecake. And, um, so I made a cheesecake and I gave my mom a little bit of money because we don't eat pork. So, and they're going to have ham, lasagna, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to eat a lot of lasagna and rice and stuff. But I also want some chicken. So I told my mom to pick up two chickens also. So she's going to, she made some uh, ajo con dulce, which is Spanish rice pudding. And um, I'm bringing a cheesecake and a chicken. So she's bringing a hook on dulce, and I'm bringing, and she's bringing also a chicken, and I'm bringing a chicken and some, uh, what you gonna call it? Cheesecake. <laughs> and the cheesecake is flavored, flavored lemon, uh, almond, orange, and it got vanilla flavor in it, and it's really good. It's homemade, so. Okay, so there goes our layer two. Now, I got this ribbon right here, and the ribbon is going to go, like, about right here. And, um, that ribbon is from AC, which is American Craft Glitter Ribbon. So, I'm going to adhere this down. I'm just going to glue the back. And I already made a mistake. Let me see if I could bring it up. And if I can't... Oh my God, it's coming up. I really don't need to bring the whole thing up. Oh, I messed it up. So let me... I just need the bottom so I can adhere the tape to the back. Okay. So let me adhere this down. Okay. 
like right there and right there okay and then I'm gonna push this ribbon to the back and then I'm gonna glue this side back down and with all things you know I show you my mistakes sometimes I go ahead of myself but I was actually talking about some food and dessert for tomorrow so guys I'm so sorry but you can barely tell that I even made a mistake. Okay, so I got my ribbon down. Okay, so now in uh, art philosophy, I end up using this banner. Well, it's not a banner, it's a label. And I end up using this label right here. And um I end up cutting it out at one and a quarter inch. And um what I did, I extended it wider, and since it don't come with a shadow, I made my own shadow. So I copied two of them, I matched them together, then I unlinked the keep a portion button and I stretched it out and I made it wider so it can fit and I did that two times so I got one this way then a shadow then another shadow to go behind the other shadow and this is my label right here now my label is cut at one and a quarter and um it looks really good so I thought it I thought it was like a perfect spin to the card and then these little heart I end up doing it with my heart punch which I end up getting and I got this um in Tuesday morning like about two years ago it was just sitting there and I kept on seeing it kept on seeing it and I says you know let me get it because one of these days I'm gonna end up using a heart punch and guess what I needed it today so I'm gonna hit this down right there but before I do that, I want to show you the cut that I ended up making. In the wedding cartridge, I ended up cutting out this wedding dress. And it's right here. And I cut that wedding dress at 4.75. And I cut it out. I shadowed it out with silver. Then, here goes the wedding dress. So I shadowed it out with silver as a shadow. Then I did the bottom layer in black, as you can see. Then I did the top layer in white glitter paper. And I put a little heart in the front, you know, to kind of offset it. Which it, it did a really good, that accent. So it came out really, really nice. And I got this on some foam tape. So let me adhere this down. And this card came out really pretty, I thought. You know, not all my cards look good, but, you know, there's times that my cards look horrible and I don't even want to make a video of it. And then sometimes they come out so beautiful. And this is one of the cards that comes out, came out really beautiful. So I'm going to, I got that on foam tape, so I'm going to bring this up. And I'm actually going to move it over a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. And it looks good just like that. Now, on this label, best wishes, for, not witches, best wishes for your future happiness. I end up using many greetings from My Creative Time with Emma and her. My Creative Time with Emma, she has some amazing, amazing stamps. So, ladies, if you want. Go to her website. She's also on YouTube. And she is an amazing woman. She is very talented. She just... she uh, Oh my god. I There's no words that I can express how well she does her stuff. And she is really talented. Really talented. So here goes the best wish wishes for your future happiness. And I stamped it on glitter paper. And I end up using Stays on Ink. 
Remember, ladies, whenever you stamp on glitter, you need to use Stazon. Stazon is the only one that does not smear. So I'm going to layer this right down here, just like that. Okay, and there goes my card. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so, so very, very much. And until next time, I will definitely come up with some other ideas on how to make some Valentine's Day cards. And try my best. And the lighting on my on my table is really not that good. It, it is so dark. Okay. So there you go. So guys, if you got a wedding card to do, look at how beautiful and sparkly this is. You can't beat it. It's gorgeous. There you go, ladies. Thank you for joining me. Y'all have a wonderful week now. Bye.